Good morning, we're just in the town of Jasper. We're camping just at the Wapiti campground and we're gonna go to the Malayan Lake today and the Malayan Canyon. The lake's still frozen, so it's gonna be another frozen lake, yay! There's a wolf just over here. Well, we're pretty sure it's a wolf. It's exciting, we're seeing so much wildlife on this trip, it's amazing. I just can't believe this, just seeing a wolf on the side and we come around the corner and there's a moose it's with the antlers just grazing on the side of the road just around the corner. If you ever want to come do wildlife spotting, come to Canada, Jasper National Park and Banff National Park. Wow, probably won't see anything in Alaska. So most of our travels like this, but this is one of those examples of it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. So we're going to Malign Lake, but the journey to get there, we're seeing wolves, we're seeing moose, we might see a bear. It's the excitement of what you're gonna see on the way there. Oh, look at the devastation here, all the wildfires. Coming here. So some of the wildfires are caused by natural forms, lightning strikes. Others are caused by humans. And silly things like not putting your campfire out properly at night or dropping a cigarette butt. Just carelessness caused so much devastation. So we're just at Malene Lake. It's still partly frozen, so they're not running any boat trips at the moment. When it's not icy, it's a brilliant turquoise colour. In summer, you can take a popular boat cruise to Spirit Island, a small picturesque island that is one of the most photographed spots in Canada. But it's probably a cool way to see it when it's sort of half frozen, half not. Malign Lake is the largest natural lake in the Canadian Rockies. It stretches for 22 and a half kilometers, making it one of the longest lakes. The lake was formed by glacial activity and is fed by meltwater from the surrounding glaciers and snowfields. The snow on the edge of that beautiful green water. It's so pretty. We've just seen a waffle hut. We're gonna go see if it's open. So this is the bacon waffle that we've just ordered. got like a bacon jam with maple syrup in it and the waffle itself is quite sweet I thought it might have been less sweet being savory but you know if you don't mind a sweet breakfast with bacon on it <laughs> it's delicious I highly recommend the waffle hut if you come to Malene Lake we're just taking a walk down to the Malene Canyon Malene Canyon is a natural wonder in the Canadian Rockies it reaches depths of 50 meters and was carved over millennia by the Malene River so up on the sign there, they're referring to the water as liquid sandpaper. The way it's carving its way through the rocks. What a cool way to think of it. No one knows how deeper the canyon gets each year. A good guess would be a fraction of a millimetre. Not a huge amount, but when you multiply that by thousands of years, it's a huge difference. You can see down there how all the rocks have heated up in the sun and melting the snow around them, the little gap around the rocks. The canyon features underground rivers, sinkholes and caves, and the river itself vanishing and re-emerging through a hidden cave system. Good morning, we're just in the town of Jasper and Mike's having to do some repairs on the windscreen wipers again. Luckily we've got the parts for it. It's um, here, he had to replace some the parts last year and the two bits he didn't do so he's going to have to do them now. So these are the bits that need to be replaced, little rubbers. He's replaced two of them, there's another two that were okay but apparently they weren't because they've just stopped their wipers work working. They only break when it rains don't they? <laughs> There's not really any auto zones here or anything if you need parts, so just leaving our little lovely little campsite at Jasper National Park. It's gonna start heading towards Alaska. Now the Alaska Highway is closed because of wildfires, so we're gonna have to go up the Cassia. So we're just
just gonna follow. Head towards Prince George today and see how far we get. So it's still over 3,000 kilometers to Anchorage in Alaska. So quite a little way to go yet. So 3,000 kilometers to Anchorage in Alaska. Vegas where we started is actually only 2,000 kilometers back. That's if we have followed the direct route. So we've just crossed from Alberta into British Columbia. taking a hike down to a waterfall. It's a um, nice bush walk. Got our bell swinging to scare the bear. So this is the Overlander Falls. Just a short walk from the highway. Another walk down to another falls. Thought I'd bring the brolly, it's raining. Look how pretty and green it is through here. So we've just stopped in the town of McBride to try and fix the windscreen wiper again. Mike's not sure why it came off again. He just put a new one on yesterday, so. So this is our scenic lunchtime spot today. We didn't film it, but we had soup and bread. So we're just taking a walk through an ancient forest, not far from Prince George. This is an ancient cedar tree, big one. So many of these trees, these cedar trees are a thousand years or older. That's why they're ancient. So if you've ever wondered where bears hibernate, it says here that grizzly bears will dig out the base of a cedar tree and hibernate in there. And the black, black bears often raise their young inside the large hollow cedar trunks. I've actually always wondered where bears hibernated. And that, that's it. A lot of bears found in here. Apparently grizzlies and blacks. So we'll keep an eye out. They just make lots of noise. So this ancient forest we're walking through is actually an inland tropical rainforest. It's probably why it's so damp in here. <laughs> and I just said it doesn't feel tropical. Sounds like this is what the grizzly does. He, he just carves out down by the roots there and makes a little hibernation hole to raise his cubs. Quite a big tree here. Got his arms sticking out. It's like, woo, I got lots of arms. Look at all my arms. They're quite big lilies. Lots of ferns, very green and damp. I can smell marijuana. Be around here smoking a joint. <laughs> Started raining, so we're just getting our raincoats on. There's a waterfall up here we're gonna go have a look at. Found the waterfall.
So that took us about 40 minutes to get up to the waterfall. But that's about the same distance back. It might be quicker because we're not stopping as much. And it's downhill. Leaving you for the bears. Oh yeah, Mike keeps leaving me for the bears. I stop and take photos and he takes off. <laughs> He's got the jangly bell, he's got all the weapons. He's got the air horn, he's got the bear spray, he's got the dangly jangly bell. I've just got me talking to you guys. <laughs> you guys will save me, eh? I'm sure you will. So that yellow stuff you see on the trees here, that's gold dust lichen. And it's unique to old forests like this. It will like they only ever find it on trees older than 250 years old. That's pretty neat. I love how green it is. The sun's starting to come out. So the Radies tree here is over a thousand years old. Imagine being stuck in the same place for a thousand years. I'd hate it. I, I struggle to stay in the same place for two days. Saying some of the trees in the ancient forest could be as old as 2,000 years. Imagine the stories they could tell, hey? So it's really easy for us to just pack up and leave, which we're going to do this morning because it's cold. We don't even have to make up a bed, but we're going to anyway. Just left Prince George and we're on our way to Alaska. So we were going to go up the Alaska Highway, but because of the fires, it's open again now, but we just, we'd already made the decision to go to Stuart Cassia. And if the fires aren't too bad, when we come back, we'll come back down the Alaska Highway. It's like storms ahead. Every single day I stand and stare. Our windscreen wipers failed again. So we're just going to go to a mechanic and see if they can have a look at them for us. Kind of need them in this weather. So we just stopped at Hillcrest Automotive and the guy helped us. Hopefully it's all fixed for now and we don't have any more problems with those stupid windscreen wipers. Good morning. We're just leaving the town of Smithers where we camped last night. Now we're heading on towards the Stuart Cassia Highway. We'll probably drive some of that today, I think. So just to make us feel at home, there's another one lane bridge and it's a suspension bridge, 80 meters above the river. This is where I'm staying. driving into a little historic town of Hazleton. Hazleton is the oldest surviving pioneer community in northwest BC. The community was home to the region's first trading post, bank, school, mining office, government agency and hospital. It's hard to imagine but in the late 1800s this was a centre of commerce. The rear paddle wheelers used to ply their trade up to here. This is the highest point they could reach and then the mill trains used to carry all the goods in across the rugged country to distant communities and mines and the railroad. Join us in the next episode where we drive the Stuart Cassia Highway, visiting the quaint town of Stuart, see glaciers and find some incredible free places to camp.